Java. All right. Now let's understand data types. What are data types? Data types are nothing but what type of data you will be using in your program. Whenever you say a number like 10 numeric value, you use integer, right? Likewise, in the Java, we have two types of data types, primitive data type and non-primitive data type. In a shortcut, primitive can store one value at a time. Non-primitive can store more number of letters, okay, more number of uh, values. So let's understand these primitive data types. Primitive data types in Java are those whose variables can store only one value at a time. So whenever you are storing byte, short, integer, this all belongs to numbers, right? So if I want to use a number, for example, if I go back to the Java program, I want to print a number. I want to print a number. I will say, let me take this out. Let me take this function out. Int a equal to 100. Int a equal to 100. Now, a number is given as 100 and I'm storing in A. I want to print this, right? System dot out dot print ln A. A is the value. So, compile this Java C first Java program dot Java then execute it. it prints 100. 100 is actually 100 is 100 falls under a byte because from minus 128 to 127 you can store it. Okay. Because it is taking only one byte of memory. But when you mention int it is taking four bytes of memory. Let's write the same thing here go back to this editor instead of integer i will say it as byte b y t e byte is a keyword okay save this compile it again first dot java java first execute it printing fine but if i two if i store 200 and then compile it it is giving me an error because incompatible type. The reason for every data type, there is a range. When you mention byte, it is storing only one byte and you can only store within a range. When you have given 200, it says I cannot support this. Compiler is not understanding why you have stored 200 in a byte. When a number exceeds, you need to go to the next data type that is short. And again, short got its own uh, range like minus 32,768 to plus 32,767 and you can store it. So, right. So, go back to the program and store the number as short. Save it, compile it again. Java C first program dot Java. It compiles and execute it. Printing. Again, if I store 40,000, let's see if it is printing. Save this. Go to compile. Compilation again. Error as expected, right? So data types are those what type of data you are going to store in a program based on that you decide your data type okay we will see all these uh, different uh, data type examples soon all right let's see uh, the example on data types okay so i'll create a new class here data types example or you can just keep data example copy save this 
data example. So the first data is like byte. So we know um, we create byte as a keyword and B is equals to 105 and I can print that byte data B as a keyword. Okay. Now let's use the short. I can say age equals to 40. Then you want to print the age. I can just copy this. Short data type. Okay, I'll say short data type, which is age. Then we will see integer. Okay. So integer integer I want to use uh, you can see the pop uh, the number we can use 10 digits right so I'll say integer India population India population equals to 139 340 9038 save this so I want to print the India population which is integer integer data type which is India population now uh, the other one is world population I want to use long for the world population which is like eight um, eight billion right approximately eight billion so it only supports until 2.1 billion so I need to use definitely long so if I say long world population equals to something like seven nine uh, I think one six zero four five three eight seven nine one six zero four five four three eight yeah all right now there is a problem here uh, if you see one three uh three six nine and ten digits so which is 7.9 billion uh, let me print that and see what is the output i'm getting okay so which is long integer long integer data type which is world population save this so if i try to execute this program let me see the desktop which is Java folder open the command prompt Java C the program name is data example okay what it is saying integer number too large however in the program I have not given integer I have given this on line number 8 I have given as long so what is happening in Java the default value on the long it considered as integer so you need to explicitly mention it is a long type how do you mention that l you can use small l or capital l so you can use small l or capital l this is a comment that it uh, java compiler it will ignore i'm writing this to understand so when you see L, you are saying that I'm explicitly using long integer. If you don't mention this, it is considering default integer, which means the data range will be under 2.1 something, right? So whenever you are using a long integer, even though you mentioned the long keyword, you need, you need to explicitly say L or capital L save this and go back to the program and compile it java c data example now it compiles you can print it so now it is printing the value exact value similarly let's see the float type so let's say i am using float one stock market value something like four five six seven and when to use this float whenever there is a decimal digits 
you can use float and double when you have a uh, decimal values okay so if i say here my stock value is point something eight nine and you can print the stock value okay i'll copy this so i'll say float data type float data type is stock now save this compile it there is an error why because what the what error is saying possibly lose the conversion from double to float i am not using double here however by default the decimal value when you mention the decimal value java considers as a double type so here you need to explicitly say it is a float type so how do you say that you can use small l or small f or capital f you can say small f or capital f which converts which says that you're only using the float type now save this go back to the program and compile execute it okay now it is printing 4.67 so when to use float and when to use double whenever the decimal values are more than seven digits you are going to use double type so let's see that example double stock two is equals to i'll say four five six seven point double one double two double three double four double five if you say float it will not print all the digits okay so instead of that now it is considering default as double so which has more than seven digits after the uh, decimal so save this and print the double type double data type which is stock two don't forget to give the name of the variable which is stock two for the double type so go back java c data example dot java java data example so now it is printing the exact value so now we know the difference between float and double and uh, of places when we use float we need to say f or capital f now let's see the another example on the boolean type so boolean stands for true or false boolean stands for true or false i'll say uh, i'll give one example um, eligible and then i'll say integer or okay you already declared the age right now here i can say eligible equals to age greater than 18 if your age is greater than 18 then some value is stored here what is that value either it is true or false so let's see that example so i'll say boolean data type so what is a boolean data type it is eligible save this so it is saying true because the condition is true which is age is currently 40 40 greater than 18 is true and if you said 10 so 10 greater than 18 which is false and false is stored in eligible so save this again and go back to the program recompile so now it says false so whenever there is a true or false required you need to use boolean data type then we have character so char stores two bytes and uh, you can store a single alphabet or a character okay 
so here if I say just say char letter or you can say c1 is equals to you can store one character I'll say capital G semicolon and you want to print this character you can see we are declaring in a single quotation whenever you use a character data type you need to declare in a single quotation so I'll copy this so I'll say character data type which is the variable name c1 so it prints the character okay semicolon expected oh there is a error here okay now it is printing g one of the common interview question if you know c or c++ programming in a c program the data type for a character is one byte whereas in java it is taking two bytes the reason because in c programming it only supports ascii it only supports ascii characters so whereas in java it supports additional special characters which we call utf characters so in utf characters we can use some special characters like hindi alphabets telugu alphabets any other language characters so that's the reason in java the char data type takes two bytes of memory let's see that example now So for that, I'll go to Eclipse and I'll create a program. How to use Eclipse, we will see in future. But now I'm just ex explaining the character set, how to print. So I'll say character, I'll say special character. Special character as my program name. So here I'll say character c1 is equals to you can say uh, some question mark or ampersand symbol percentage symbol anything you can print right system dot out dot print ln i want to print c1 so you can simply save and right click run as java application so it prints the character in java whenever you want to print some special characters you can use utf characters okay utf codes so what is utf codes in a single quotation you can declare something like slash u 0 c 0 5 so what is this what is this this is the unicode character for printing telugu alphabet r save this and right click run as java application however it is printing question mark because your eclipse is not supporting that how to print that let's go to your project right click and click on properties so here there is an option called text to file encoding which supports some special characters choose other so all the utf 16 utf 8 we have it now i'll choose utf 8 so when you choose utf8 apply now right click and run again so you can see it is printing the alphabet r so if i want to use another alphabet i can create another variable like c2 and just increase the number by one and print it again c2 i have created one character second character so I'm printing those two. Ah, ah. So this is how Java supports the special characters. And that's the reason Java got two bytes of memory for a character. So now with this, we have seen all the examples for the different data types. Thanks for watching.